Hello. So I have in front of you here the UC Berkeley GPA is the latest data that I could find online. Uh, it took a little bit of snooping around their uh, undergraduate admissions websites, but I finally found it. They also offer transfers. So uh, the full data set is going to be in one of the tabs here, and I'll obviously link the spreadsheet below. Uh, just wanted to point out the ratios that I was calculating for the more popular freshman um, department majors. They don't specify by major, which is unfortunate. Uh, nonetheless, what I found interesting is that they offer the tier breakdowns in terms of GPA. I showed this actually last night on my Discord for the students, and uh, we got a little bit flustered by the GPA that they're using for this chart. Is it supposed to be the eight total capped weighted UC GPA? And then after thinking about it some more and reflecting on it, they're definitely not using that because it wouldn't be possible to hit a 5.0 or even a 4.8 on the lower end for that matter. So they're using the GPA weighted that's uncapped. Uh, but Jay, I heard that UCs don't care about if you take more than eight. Well, guys, if you're looking at the data here, it's clearly showing that they do care. Uh, they are going to look at that. And it's enough to make the argument that you might want to consider uh, going beyond just the eight cap, because if you look at the percentages for the competitive majors or the competitive department like engineering, you go from a 14% at 4.6 uh, top to an 18%. So what's interesting, obviously, is there's people who still get admitted, students who still get admitted with a 3.5 or under. There's probably some circumstance involved in that. 3.6 to 3.8, there's 30 students, but the percentages are abysmally low. So I'm assuming there's some sort of circumstance there. Remember, it is a holistic admissions process. Uh, but beyond that, you really are becoming an eligible candidate for, let's say, the College of Engineering at Berkeley when you're closer to around a 4.4 uh, weighted uncapped. If you're under a 4.4, your chances are basically cut in half. And so it becomes very difficult for you to try to apply. Unfortunately, that's the vast majority of students who are trying to apply to engineering. So there's a lot of students out there that are really pushing for this. And unfortunately, you are going to be in that first big tranche of a drop in percentage chances. The same thing goes for letters of uh, sciences. So if you have a 4.4 or higher, that percentage just jumps from there. It's not as bad as, let's say, up to a 50% differential. But uh, nonetheless, a 28%, 33% when you're at a 4.4, 4.6 range. Look how many students are applying right under that, though. 43,000 students, 34,000 students. So this is clearly where they have kind of to make selection processes based on other factors. And then the GPA just clearly shows kind of its strength in the weighted system of the overall holistic process starting from 4.4 and above. Yeah, just wanted to show that, make it really quick. I'll leave the link of this below if you're interested. I did not do the ratio for the transfer students, but like I said, it's below. It's right there. You can check it out. Alrighty, guys. Hope you guys have a good day.